Good morning, Indian Creek. At this time, please take a moment of silence to reflect on the anticipated activities of the day. Thank you so much. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, once again, good morning, everybody. It is a terrific Thursday, and it is February the 24th, 2022, and here are your announcements. All right, so today is going to be a B day for connections. So you'll be attending your third, fifth, and seventh period connections classes today. This is also a reminder to everyone in the building that the current safety protocols in place with that masks are currently strongly recommended, but not mandated. Uh, they're effective if you're wearing them over your nose and mouth. So if you're gonna be wearing a mask, I strongly recommend that you put it over your nose and mouth to make sure that they're effective. Uh, we do need to continue keeping our distance as much as possible. Uh, three to six feet is wonderful. Uh, make sure that you're trying to do that as often as you can. And then wash or sanitize your hands as often as you can. Just want to remind everyone of a couple of issues we're seeing around the building. Uh, first and foremost, <clears throat> uh, DoorDash deliveries to students at any time during the day are not allowed. So be aware that any DoorDash deliveries will be turned away at the front door and not allowed in the building and you'll lose out on that money. So uh, please be aware of that. We are not accepting DoorDash deliveries um, for students. Uh, second, please remember that the student code of conduct, that's the, the handbook, okay? It's not something that your teachers or myself or the administrators have developed. I mean, those are system-wide, school system-wide rules that have been voted upon by your elected school board members, okay? so. Just know that it's, it's only our job to implement and enforce those rules, um, nothing more and nothing less, okay? So uh, don't, don't take out your anger on the teachers and, and the administrative staff for following the rules that have been put in place by your elected officials. Uh, if you haven't seen the new furniture in the Learning Commons, formerly known as the Media Center, make sure you stop by and take a look. A lot of students were in there yesterday um, and it was, it was quite, exciting to see how um, how everybody re responded to the furniture. So that, that's awesome. Um, we just want to make it more comfortable for you uh, and um, hope that you enjoy. Uh, the Yearbook Order Center is now open. So remember that you go to yearbookordercenter.com and then you put in the code 15503. Remember our yearbooks are $35, but if you want to have your name on them, it's $40. So you can order yours today. Uh, today is Black History Month fact of the day. Did you know that when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was originally drafting his um, speech, the dream language was considered, but it was ultimately edited out. He was going to only be allotted five minutes to speak and he didn't think he'd have enough time to fit those words in. When he handed his speech to the press, the words, I have a dream were not included in what they were given. So when they arrived the morning of the march and Dr. King was you know, really disappointed with the number of people that uh, the media was reporting were there, about only 25,000 people had showed up for the protest. They started walking towards the Lincoln Memorial. And by the time they reached there, the numbers had swelled. And, and it could be that that's what inspired Dr. King to suddenly change his speech for whatever reason, Dr. King's improvisation, he improvised that, that part of the speech, and that made the speech historical. I have a dream. So for more information on Martin Luther King Jr. and his I have a dream speech, I recommend you do a Google search. I can't give you one particular website to go to because there's so much information out there about him. Hundreds of resources, hundreds of websites. And if you want to watch the actual speech, you can go to YouTube and you'll, you'll see a breakdown of every minute of that day. So uh, do some research. It's it quite interesting. And with that being said, I ask that you all join me in reciting the Panther promise to remind us of what it is to be part of Panther Nation. I'll be respectful, I'll be responsible, and I'll be a part of positive role model. Now, don't forget, we only have a few days left here in 
um, February. It's Capturing Kids Hearts Month is kindness. That's our theme this month. So be kind to somebody today and every day. With that, I want to thank you for your attention this morning. I look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning on Creek TV. Have a great day, everybody.